Please note, this program is intended for mature listening audiences. It may contain strong language, adult themes, and violence. Therefore, it may not be appropriate for everyone. Listener discretion is advised. What is this doing? I thought you were done with this shit. Six months of my ass. Watershed Z Productions proudly presents Break Channel 13. Season 1, This is Jack. Episode 6, The Man Behind the Max. I'm making this recording in case things go bad quickly here. I feel like somebody should know, and I can't just tell people, so I'm going to leave this recording behind when I vacate this place or when I die for some reason. I knew that this was going to happen. I had been warned. I was told that it would take a lot longer for this to occur, but it, it, it happened rather quickly, and I knew. I didn't tell anybody because there was no point. There was no way to stop it, so you know, what, what's the point of putting everybody in mass hysterics or plus I mean I was bound by code to to not not say anything you've reached Denton leave a message after the beep hey Denton that's me um I can't talk long but I just wanted you to know uh the event that we were discussing recently it is going to happen. Um, it's been confirmed. Um, I repeat, it's been confirmed. Victor has said it is going to happen. And we've got maybe six months. Um, so uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up and let you know. Um, but do not try to contact me. You won't be able to find me. Um, I, I'm going to get out of here. So uh, anyway... I can't believe it's actually happening, but I just wanted to let you know. Good luck. Are you kidding me? Six months? That's it? Oh, my God. The world is... This... Oh, what have we done? We're all fucked. God have mercy on every fucking one of us. So, I decided that I was going to try my best to make my life comfortable as long as I could. That's why the cave, the stream, all of that is here. I wish I'd had more time to do something with it and make it better, but... It's actually not bad for what what time I had to put all of this together. So the stream, of course, runs the wheel, which powers the generator, which powers my house and my fence and all my cool little gadgets and, and stuff. I... 
I have a computer. It's kind of pointless because there's no there's no internet. But when I turned it on the other day, there was a signal. A Wi-Fi a signal of some kind, whether somebody was doing it ad hoc and it was just directly from them and they were just putting out a signal hoping somebody would connect, I don't know. It's There's no way that it's connected to the rest of the world. There's It's impossible. So it has to be something just ad hoc that's, that somebody's trying to do. But I don't... I don't know who would have the knowledge, the capability to do something like that uh, with the power that it's putting out. It's it's putting out a, a hell of a signal. Like, I mean, like it's in the living room type deal when, when things were normal. It's powerful. And I somehow, I wish I could investigate it, but I mean, I can't really... I can't really just go traipsing around trying to find out what it is. It's impossible for me. Of course, I haven't heard from Jack or Miller in quite a while. And that has me a little bit worried. I'm still hearing the bad guys, for lack of a better word, on the radio. Uh, I'm gathering that there's, there's Flynn... And that there's Gabriel, and I think they're like the head honchos of this little militant group that's going on. And I guess Miller did something to his brother, and now they want him, Jack, and myself dead. Um, I heard something kind of fearful about somebody saying that they saw Miller and last I heard they were they were hot on the trail I, I don't know what's going on Jack's smart enough that she's she's probably radio silent right now she's not going to talk it's just that would be that much easier if they could triangulate on him no uh, I don't know so there's a lot of things that worry me uh, I was thinking about the the electricity and, and all the fields and dampening stuff that it it did it, it, it helped. It I mean we always looked at electricity as a luxury, but in a lot of ways with the technology that we have and and I'm not talking about like computers and stuff, with the technology we have, we needed electricity to protect us as well. I mean, look at my fence. Yeah, yeah, I know Jack got past it, but that was a fluke. Uh, something had shorted it out. Otherwise, she would have been shocked. It probably would have tased her. It wouldn't have killed her, but it, it would have it would have changed her mind about coming into the house and involving me in all this. I was quite content with just being where I'm at. So. Down here in the cave, I've got the stream. I've got a, a power wheel that powers the generator. I have a hydroponic farm underground. Of course, the, the generator powers the sodium lights that <coughs> act basically as the sun for the plants. Yes, I even have a couple of marijuana plants growing. <laughs> you know, why not? Don't think anybody's going to stop me from smoking. And so, I don't know. I wonder what the future's going to hold, how long we can hold out as a human race. Can we truly, truly revert back to pre-electrical times? I mean, I'm not even doing that because... I have power. But until we can come up with a more permanent solution for everybody, there's just going to be the little bits of pieces of people here and there that have power. And there's going to be people who want to take that power. 
because they don't have their own. I fear for the future. I fear for Miller and Jack. I fear for myself. So, I guess that's basically it. I, I don't really know what else to, to put in this recording. I would put a bunch of logistics in here for you guys, but there's no point. And I don't even know if this will ever be found. So I will close with saying that it amazed me how separated humanity became to either good or evil. There's no neutral anymore. You can't you can't be neutral. You're either good or you're not. You're either a person that wants to help other people and try and save what's left of humanity or you want to control everything around you out of anger fear I I don't know somebody who's truly evil what, what are their reasonings for it I don't know maybe they felt like the government before wasn't good so they want to make their own and just make it a military thing I can't understand that side of the thinking really because although I was involved in some very um, undercover stuff I was never what I would consider to be evil So, I have to wonder what drives somebody to be evil. All I know is the situation now has definitely separated us into the two groups. There is no in-between. There is no, you're either good, you're evil, or you just shut off from the world and protect your own. It's amazing. Like... If you find this recording, I hope it finds you well, and I hope that things have changed enough for you to live a normal kind of life. And I'm really sorry that this happened. There was nothing anybody could have done to stop it, though. I was just lucky enough to have friends that owed me and told me so that I can prepare. Good luck. Uh, My name is Maximilian Dutton, and I'm out. Subscribe now so you never miss a minute of our growing pains. You can help support Break Channel 13 by becoming a member at patreon.com slash break13, sharing us with your friends, and leaving us a review on iTunes. We truly appreciate all of our listeners and any support they can give. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash breakchannel13 and visit us online at watershedz.com for updates, games, and new shows. We'll be back next week, and thanks for listening.